I want to talk to you today about the new Evolution bipod I just got. It uh, just came in the other day. The fit and finish seems really nice. I'm going to kind of compare it with the uh, with an Atlas a little bit or an Atlas clone. But just going to go over some stuff that I found that I like and I don't like about this uh, Evolution bipod. As far as the way it feels and the feedback, it's really nice. Um, the fit and finish on this thing is amazing. It clips right off. Um, you got the quick screw release. So the tilt, it does not pan. So what you do is you can quick release it. Just like that. Okay, Logan, bring it over here. So, sorry about that. Got a new tripod, cameraman's figuring it out. So <laughs> this is the, uh, the Evolution bipod. It's got the uh, carbon fiber legs. This you can adjust, loosen and tighten for the tilt. Um, it goes loose, so you can see a tilt from side to side. The tilt is extremely smooth. Um, everything on this, the fit and finish is just absolutely phenomenal. The only thing I found with the fit and finish on this is when you have these legs up all the way, like they're mounted on the rifle, and you wanna operate this, you can see how this hits this a little bit. If you hold this a little bit, if you bring it up, it'll clear it. So I would say that's the only issue is with this, how this hits. And so it's going to it's gonna get scratched up. I've only had a couple days playing with it. And you can definitely see some marks. Um, once it's locked, it's it's not an issue. This only goes forward to here. It does not go a full 180 degrees um, like the Atlas does. The legs do not rotate. They come off. Oh, let me get this lined up. They come off real easy. And they go on quite easy as well when you take them off. There's an adapter, I guess, so you can run like a tripod or whatever. Um, the one thing I have found is sometimes these go on really easy and sometimes they go off really easy. Like now they're not one to go on, but if I line up these little indent balls with the ball and I line it up with a little indent here, it goes on really easy, which is kind of weird. Um, a little quirky, obviously, it'd be kind of a pain if you were out in the field, but uh, you're probably not taking these off and on a lot in the field anyway. Um, I do like how these have a quick release and you know you've got your different things you can set and again once they lock in they don't move i really like the quick release um, they've got the plastic little rubber foot pads these really come off quite easy once you get them going just wiggle them for a second they come off and you can put a spike on if you want right and then you've got the spike if you want to run the dirt and uh once you get it all locked in, these don't rotate or anything. So um, the quality on this is absolutely phenomenal. Really impressed with it, like it quite a bit. Like I said, the only issue is on this where it flips, it tends to bump a little bit. I like how this locks down. You can pull it, retighten it down, all that good stuff. Um, I've played with the Harris before. The fit and finish on this and the stiffness and everything, this is definitely, definitely a step up from the Harris. Um, the only thing I have to compare it to as well is just a knockoff atlas. Now I know this isn't a real atlas, so the fit and finish on this is nothing compared to an original. Um, but I did notice on the knockoff, it doesn't hit, which is kind of cool. Um, I shot this up 640 yards, and again, this is better suited for like a 22 or airsoft or something like this. The quality on this is just nowhere near what you would expect on a real one. Um, the one thing I did not like, which I've read about with the atlases, is how when they tighten down with the pan they'll tend to loosen while you're moving it around and I definitely noticed it with this I'm sure with the Atlas it does not loosen as easily but um, you know I have heard it's an issue um, and I don't like how you kind of have to use two hands to operate the legs I like the spring loaded where it can just pop out if I'm up I can hit the button and it drops down so that's uh, that's a big deal to me um, again this is just the knockoff I would love to compare this with an actual Atlas but while I was waiting for this and I had my rail mounted, I wanted something to be able to shoot while I was waiting. So I just picked one of these up quick just to be able to use. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with this. I'm looking forward to getting out in the field and stretching things out with it and seeing how I like it. But uh, again, this has just been uh, very impressed. And um, I think I'm going to be very happy with this, um, with this bipod. Um, overall and uh, it should be great I'm trying to pop this sometimes and that's the thing I'm gonna have to get used to sometimes these legs there now it went off really easy I was struggling with it for a second you gotta kind of line these dents 
up with these little indents here. Um, and for some reason, when you do that, things slide on and off really easy. You would think because it's smooth, it shouldn't matter, but it, it just seems to help. And uh, yeah, so overall, I'm impressed though. Uh, very happy with it. And like I said, I'm looking forward to getting it out there. And, uh, and I'm looking at possibly even mounting a tripod mount instead of getting a tripod mount. Um, I've noticed this is threaded and actually mounting a tripod mount on here. So I could actually just take this and clip it right into a tripod mount and be good to go. I'm going to play with that and uh, check that out. But uh, as of now, I'm just going to enjoy it how it is and see how it goes. But I think this is going to be a great, uh, great bipod for out in the field and uh, for long range shooting.